Hi again everybody, Mike Costa with you here on GoAztecs.com and welcome to another edition of Aztecs Now Online. We are joined by head football coach Brady Hoke. Coach, the New Mexico game may not have been the prettiest one uh, on the resume, but no one ever said you have to have these many certain or this uh, a number of style points to win a football game. You got in there, you won the game, and that's all that matters. Did you think it would be as close as it was, though? You know, I really never go into any game. I think they're all going to be 60-minute football games, and I think that's how our team feels, you know, that you got to play a full 60 minutes. And, mm -hmm. you know, we went – to Albuquerque and played a team that had a week off. So there were a couple new wrinkles they had. I thought, you know, we need to play better, obviously, and, and have more rhythm in our offense, more continuity. And we got to take care of the football as far as catching it when we have the opportunities. And same thing on defense. You know, we have an opportunity to execute. We need to execute uh, if we want to win the Mountain West Conference Championship. So, you know, as you, as you look at the football game, uh, you know, winning was important. This mm -hmm. is the second half of our season. Uh, we're 1-0 right now, and we've got five more guaranteed opportunities. We're going to spend some time with linebacker Miles Burris a little later on in the show. Uh, it looked, it appeared from, you know, my vantage point, he had an outstanding game. Talk about some of the individuals who were able, who, who were able to stand out in this performance. Well, as you mentioned, I think Miles played well. He played hard. Uh, uh, there's some things execution-wise I know that uh, he needs to uh, make sure he's on top of and uh, paying attention to details. I had Ernie Lawson played uh, another good football game and played hard. I think Leon and Jose back there are doing a really good job. And I, I had Jerome Long, you know, Neil has a little bit of a shoulder problem that we tried to limit him a little bit and Jerome got most of the snaps in there. And, uh, you know, Freddie Trujillo got a lot of snaps as a guy. And it's kind of neat because he was home in Albuquerque mm -hmm. and, and uh, played pretty well for us in there. So, you know, and that's the expectation you have of everybody in this team of somebody goes down and other guys got to step up. You end the first half with the touchdown pass to DeMarco Sampson, and a lot of people would say, well, you threw the Hail Mary and you got lucky. But at the same time, you used a weapon that you have, a big, tall, athletic receiver, to go up and get the ball and complete the pass and score some points. Well, you, you know, we practice that every Thursday, you know, and uh, uh, it really was well done by everybody up front. Ryan was able, Trask did a nice job in the middle and was able to step up in the pocket. Uh, DeMarco did his job going down the field, and if he can't catch it, then he's going to tip it to Vince or, or uh, uh, Nico. And uh, it just was well done by everybody. Uh, DeMarco obviously made a great play, a great throw by Ryan, and so it was good to have that momentum going in at halftime. Another great individual play that was just a small part of the success was on the last field goal, Doug Deacon does a great job of fielding that high snap, getting the ball down. Abel Perez was able to kind of almost shot put it with his foot through. But then again, it's a good field goal. Well, there's no question. And, and Doug did a great job getting the ball down. And I, I really thought Abel was patient. And uh, he's got such a strong leg. And he, he didn't have to kick all the way through it, you know, and didn't have the opportunity to. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you look at uh, what he can do and, and Doug's play itself, it tells you a lot about our football team and everyone trying to be accountable and do what they're supposed to do for their teammates. 7,200 feet above sea level this weekend uh, in Laramie with the Wyoming Cowboys are not having the, the greatest of seasons, but still are very dangerous at home when you're playing them there up there in Wyoming. What sport is, uh, sort of special problems do they present? Well, they got a lot of problems. You look at who they played. I mean, they played Boise, Texas, played TCU so far, Utah so far, Air Force so far. So they've they've played a, a, a tough schedule, mm -hmm. you know, in the, when you look at it. And, and they are a good football team. they got good players. They've had some injury problems, which everybody has. It's football, uh, you know, with some guys beat up. But, you know, you look at uh, Austin uh, – uh, Carter, he's a, he's a heck of a quarterback for him, and uh, he's a guy that runs around with the ball awfully well. Uh, defensively, they're tough guys, so you know we got our work cut out for us. You mentioned injuries. Finally, uh, can you give us an update on on Ronnie Hillman? A little dinged in that game against New Mexico. How you, you figuring he's going no, to be able to participate fine. this week? I think he'll be fine, Mike. I, you know, he's got uh, a little bit of a hip pointer, and I don't think it's uh, too major. And, 
you know, he'll uh, treat it and get ready to go. As always, Coach, appreciate the time. Good luck against Wyoming. Thank you. Coming up next, a linebacker who is having a great season. Miles Burris joins us as Aztecs Now Online continues after this. Billy White, watch out. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. And Malcolm Thomas rejects. Steven Thomas back to Leonard for the hammer. Everybody hands go up. And they stay there. Welcome back to Aztecs Now Online. We are now joined by linebacker Miles Burris, who had a pretty darn good game this past Saturday night against New Mexico. Miles, as I talked with Coach Hoke, it may not have been the prettiest game as far as a contest you've played so far this year, but the bottom line is you're one win closer, hopefully, to a Mountain West Conference championship, and I would assume that's all that matters. You got the win. Yeah, when it comes down to it, the win is all that matters, and um, any win's a good win. Again, it's not the the way we'd exactly have wanted to win, um, but you know, it's the start of the second half of our season. That game was so. In the second half of our season, we're one and zero, and it feels good to start that way. From where this team has been to where this team is now, under under Coach Hoke and his staff, it's been a, a great turnaround for Aztec football. And I'm curious: is is it the mindset? Is it the hard work? What's led to the good football that you guys are playing right now? It's a variety of factors. I mean, yeah, it's the mindset and the hard work. It's uh, everybody's bought in to, to Coach Hoke and his program, and it's because they're all doing it the right way. And uh, you can only have guys that are 100% on board. And, um, you know, we, we're working as hard as any team in the program, if not harder. And, you know, in the film room, in the weight room, uh, on the field, we're, we're getting after it at all times sure. and, and trying to win this championship. Talk about the familiarity that you guys now have in, in Rocky Long's 3-3-5 scheme. It really seems that there's not a lot of, of guessing going on. There's not a lot of thinking. You guys are now just reacting and playing football. Is that an adequate assumption of how you're playing? Yeah, the more time that goes on, uh, the more reaction-based it gets. And, and you, you kind of just can feel everything and just go let your body play. Um, obviously, there's always more, to, more and more to learn. But you know, having a year under your belt, it's, you're a lot more comfortable with the system. Mm -hmm. Two road wins this year. And, you know, we talk about confidence, and it really seems that uh, when you guys take the field during a road game, you have that mindset, you have those looks on your faces, like it's business as usual, it doesn't matter where you are. Yeah, it's a business trip. I mean, we go there to, to, to play the team we're going to go play and, and uh, go to get the win, and that's all, that's all that really matters. We go there to play and get out. You've got Wyoming this week. How much will last year's game with the Cowboys uh, be a motivating factor or – is that season in the rearview mirror? Are you just thinking about what lies before you on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, the Saturday is all that really matters. We're a different team than we were last year, and obviously they're a different team than they were last year. And, uh, you know, we just got to go out and focus on, on what they're giving us this year and, and the nuances of their scheme. Offensively, what kind of problems does uh, Wyoming present for you guys on defense? Uh, they got the returning quarterback, Carter. He was a true freshman last year, and mm -hmm. obviously he can run around with the ball, and he's, he's, he's a mobile quarterback, and that's always a, a problem in college football. Running quarterback is, always presents a lot of problems for sure. defenses, and, uh, and he's a good player, and he's a good leader, and uh, he's going he's gonna to lead that team, and uh, we gotta, we got to find a way to stop him. Miles, as always, appreciate your time. Good luck against the Cowboys. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, that will just about do it for this week's edition of Aztecs Now Online. Before we close, we'd like to remind you that this Friday is Aztecs Senior Day for the women's soccer team. The team faces UNLV at 3 o'clock on Friday at the SDSU Sports Deck. And before the match, the team will honor its four seniors, defender and forward Brittany Bennett, midfielder and forward Michaela DeJesus, midfielder Grace Shevlin, and goalkeeper Aubrey Southwick. As always, we leave you with a list of the events upcoming up here on Montezuma Mesa. For all of us here on Aztecs Now Online, I'm Mike Costa. Thanks for watching on GoAztecs.com.